film. Good afternoon, one sober to another here. Today we're going to talk about anger and how that fuels you up and why you should check yourself before you end up drinking or using. All right, folks, I told you we're going to talk about anger and what that can do to you and what you're working for. I got a situation for you that'll make you think a little bit, as well as you can apply this in your life. And here we are. So check it out. I had one dude from work try to put me in a rage that almost spiraled me out of control. Let me tell you about this. So there I was at the end of my day, the last five minutes. First, before I go any further, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe, subscribe to One Sober to Another, go ahead and do that now. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Also, thanks to all you subscribers, we passed 2,000 yesterday, and let's just go into this store. So there I was, last five minutes, this gentleman shows up. He works with me as well. He gave a customer some wrong information online or on the, on the phone. And I tried to tell him that it was incorrect. And what did he do? Instead of taking the constructive criticism for what it was, he gave me a challenge, which sent me into a rage. What he did is he turned around what I was saying to him and tried to point the finger back at me. The other day we spoke about one finger that you point out for are pointing back at you because that's absolutely true. And especially in this case, so what did he do? I told him he was incorrect about the information he was giving and he told me how I messed up something the night before and this was after I left so I didn't even know about it so I couldn't defend myself. So he got a little bit loud, I got a little bit loud and I realized that I was starting to get really angry and what does anger do to an alcoholic or addict or just people in general? It gives them tunnel vision, a one track mind to really nothing good if they don't know how to control their anger or their hostility because that emotion is a devil people just like alcohol and just like drugs and what they can do to your body i was in the midst of my hostility i felt my blood starting to boil i took a step back from the situation and i said you know what he didn't even receive what i was trying to say so i'm gonna break contact before i make contact and let me tell you people I was really in the mood to make contact because he pushed me to a place where I hadn't been since I was drinking. And if you know that place, drop your comments below. I'm really interested in what you have to say. And so is someone else who might need what we're putting out. What did I do? I paused for the cause. I stopped everything I was doing. I stopped talking to the guy. I stopped engaging him because I knew exactly where it was going. He wanted me to flip on him so that way he could feel better about himself and instead I didn't. I simply just grabbed my coat, I pulled my register and I took it and I walked away and then I went home. What's the, the moral of the story here? The moral of the story is as an alcoholic, I had to remember that being angry can send me into a lot of things that I don't wanna be. I'm also not a really good person when I'm angry and I don't process hostility well. I also had to ask my higher power for a little bit of guidance on what to do about the situation. And that's what I did when I went home. I thought about it for the last two days already. And what I have to do is I have to admit my part. I have to admit my fault and I have to utilize my step 10, which we've been talking about for the last couple of days. And just in case you forgot, it's continue to take personal inventory. And when I'm wrong, promptly admit it. I'm wearing this sweater. That means it's a little cold out here. I wonder what you guys are doing and how your weather is. And if you have any more comments or you want to drop a like, drop a like. What did I do? I talked to my higher power and came to the decision. I got to approach this dude and admit my fault in this situation. What was my fault? I engaged it. I should have just not said anything at all and let him give his false information out. Well, no, that, that wouldn't have been the right information. Uh, I should have told him what I needed to say and 
just taking my stuff away because I knew exactly what was going to happen. Instead, I engaged in that conversation that was only going one direction and I knew it, I knew it. And when it got to that point where I knew I was gonna lose control, I just stopped and I left because that was the right thing to do at that time and I wasn't gonna let him um, mess up my serenity or my inner peace because it's just not worth my time. It's not worth anybody's time. A real quick detour from all that, there's a, a woman named Annie Grace. She is also a YouTuber. She had a video yesterday that had some commentary about, you know, enjoying the small things in life. Taking the moment to, don't worry about your checklist. Don't worry about all the things you have to do or might do or you could have done. Just enjoy the moments for what they are, people. Get out, enjoy yourselves. Stay sober if you're sober. If you're not and you are sober curious, just trying to find your way to sobriety, there are some links below that you can use and that can be a big be benefit for you. If I can do anything for you or you know, um, you just need some information, hit me up at once over to another on Instagram or Twitter. And that link is also below. And guess what, folks? That's a wrap. See you in the next one. Have a great day.